Well, hello and welcome to another movie review by Movie Burner Entertainment. My name is Stephen and today I'm going to be talking about the 2017 film Battle of the Sexes. I was pleasantly surprised with the Battle of the Sexes. The primary storyline to the movie is the legendary story of Billie Jean King, played by Emma Stone, and Bobby Riggs, played by Steve Carell. Going head-to-head -head in a showdown match between the legendary women's tennis player and the tennis hustler and former men's tennis player. But there is more to this movie than just a gimmicky event. This is more about Billie Jean King and her personal and professional battles in the early 1970s. Society has come a long way since 1973, and let's be honest, we still have a long way to go. But back in 1973, the world was a different place. In the tennis world, the men's game was rewarding the players with nine times more pay than the women's who were pulling in the same crowds as the men's. Unfair? Well, sadly, obviously. Not just that, but the game and its institution was favouring the men's game considerably to the point of chauvinism. Billie Jean King, along with her manager Gladys Heldman, played by Sarah Silverman, were at the forefront to change the face of the women's tennis forever by breaking away from the WTA and its president, Jack Kramer, played by Bill Pullman. Also in her personal life, she was battling, struggling to come to terms with her own sexuality, as her friendship with Marilyn Barnett, played by Andrea Riseborough, developed throughout the tour. This is where the story succeeds. The match itself, although it is billed as the climatic finish to the film, I felt her battle with the establishment and her own personal feelings more compelling. Match versus Bobby Riggs was really just icing on the cake, as I get it up you to Kramer and co. Emma Stone must be in the top five of Hollywood actresses just now. Her portrayal of Billie Jean King is controlled and composed. She never at any point overdoes the character or the situation. In fact, I felt her portrayal helped me understand the struggle not just for her, but for women in general, and not just in the tennis world. Stone gained £15 of muscle for this film, and it shows her commitment to the role. Steve Carell I've been a fan of since 2003's Bruce Almighty as the irritating Evan Baxter and followed this character up with the less successful Evan Almighty. His next role though was the one that caught my eye in 2007's Dan in Real Life. It showed me that Carell could act outside his comfort zone and in the Battle of Sexes I felt he did well as the serial hustler Riggs. As Billie Jean King said, Riggs is more of a clown playing to an audience rather than an out and out chauvinist. Don't get me wrong, there are times when he displays a lack of respect in the film, and to be honest, I wasn't sure myself whether or not this was part of the act. The rest of the cast were mostly consistent and really just added to the occasion. Sarah Silverman is great as Hillman. Andrea Riseborough was fine as the hairstylist Marilyn Barnett. Disappointingly, Bill Pullman's portrayal of Kramer is a little flat and uninteresting. Credit to directors Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Farris. What could have been a very run-of-the-mill storyline turned into an interesting drama, that flitted back and forth between Billie Jean King versus Bobby Rigg, Billie Jean King's relationship with Marilyn Barnett, and Billie Jean King versus Jack Kramer. The pacing throughout was consistent and was well mapped out. Interestingly, I was personally impressed by the inclusion of stock footage of Howard Cossell, famous sports announcer who broke the news of John Lennon's death on Monday Night Football that dreadful December night back in 1980. Using clever CGI wizardry, the filmmakers managed to convince the audience that actress Natalie Morales, who played Rosie Casals, was being interviewed by Cosso in an almost flawless process. Apparently the most difficult part wasn't the technical aspects, but getting permission from his estate. Overall, The Battle of the Sexes is an interesting film. The look and feel to any historic moment in time is crucial, and I feel the makers hit the nail on the head with the feel and tone. Stone in particular could have been up for an Academy Award nomination for a portrayal. It was that good, and the storyline concluded well. If you haven't viewed this movie yet, I can honestly say watch it, and you will be entertained. Highly recommended. Remember guys, if you're enjoying the content we're putting out, then do subscribe to us on YouTube at Movie Burner Entertainment and on iTunes and Google Play at the Movie Burner Podcast. We're also giving us a little follow on Facebook and Twitter at Movie Burners. You can also catch up with all the latest reviews we're putting out on the Movie Burner blog at MovieBurnerEntertainment.org. Until the next time, goodbye.